Hello everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new let's play and a game that I tried to do um, a while back but wasn't able to because my last computer was so shit and terrible but um, I've decided to have another attempt at recording Stalker called a uh, Prefret uh, a game that um, like I say I tried to do but I couldn't and um, but this is the complete version, so I've installed the mod because my computer now can actually handle it. Uh, if it cuts at the start of the video, I do apologise. I don't know why it does that. Every single time I do start a video, it seems to cut my initial first little sort of opening bit to like a random point. I don't know why it does that. It, it's just doing it automatically. So that's why I wait a few seconds before I say anything. So we're going to jump straight in, we're going to start a new game, we're just going to have this sort of like initial little bit of a run before we get started and really get going down to business. So let's start a new game. Uh, I think we'll go with Stalker, second difficulty. We're not going to go with Ricky, it's too easy. Veteran is too hard and Master is just impossible. Hopefully the loading times as well will be better. My frame rate still dip though, right down to like no frames. I've got a funny feeling this probably isn't going to run properly. But we can do this as a test, not a big problem, not a big deal. Here we go. At 0123 on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30 kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011, despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. 
After the Brine Scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone. Some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of a wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks' worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. So I believe this is um, a prequel to the last game. Um, I think. Is it a prequel? No, I know Clear Sky is pre uh, prequel. I did do Clear Sky, but I cancelled it because I got so stuck on this one particular bit that I just couldn't be bothered to keep trying because it was just proving to be difficult. So I just need to get used to the controls again. Let's run. X. Bravo. So we're in the zone, uh, we've got our PDA which is this, and um, we, we started here, and um, we need to get to where the helicopters are, uh, there's one all the way over here, but um, I don't think we go to the actual power plant, because as you can see this is just a very, uh, this fits only really for it's only for um, what's the word I'm looking for? This, this bit, particular bit we're playing now is um, only this uh, this map is only the area of prefret, not really anything else. Put your weapon away, man. What's up, bro? What's the nearest store? I upload the comments to video. Stuff like this is the only major camp around here. I saw one myself. It, it didn't look like it crashed, but it wasn't flying good either. It was swinging from side to side until it landed on the Paiyu in the south of Saturn. It'll be interesting to see whether anyone survived. If we know, if we knew it up there, actually, I heard no from the Visco Barge might know. What's it look I'm doing? Not a damn thing. Слушаю тебя. The boss is over there. Go talk to him. Okay, so this is um it looks very different to when I tried playing the actual original build, the uh, vanilla build. Um and like I say, whenever I played this I did a half an hour video, I did it quite a few times. But I kept failing all the time. It kept not recording right and it was really quite frustrating. Um and I kept having to watch the intro over again and eventually I think I just got so pissed off that I just didn't bother continuing. But we're going to go to this camp. Oh, 
Wow. Жмур он добрый. Жмур сейчас со мной поделится, ага. Так, полобонь быстрее. The chopper went down right into the swamp, swamp water. It ran aground pretty quick, and the water oh, and the water there. So it's not exactly good for your health either. Poison chemicals and shit. You know this cat nimble? Yeah, he's a sneaky one, all right. Sells the best pieces around, no doubt. I know he's been smuggling them like that. I mean, how do you call a Vintos so it don't look like you do? Where do you stick that thing? That's a Jedi mind trick shit right there, man. Ну типа я слушаю. I'll let them deal with it. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Listen up. Hello. Sultan wants to see you. Well, good luck to you. Welcome aboard our swamp icebreaker. <laughs> You here? That's all right. You're still in soon enough. You know the zone. It's a tough teacher. I'm Brid, the local bartender. Got any questions? You come to me. You here? Got a little something. Last night, 
the stalkers saw some kind of weird glow at the drag station. Too weird for even these parts. Why don't you check it out? Make sure to watch yourself though. I'm warning you, that place is full of radiation. Don't forget your meds. You'll thank me later. Drop in if something interesting. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. So, you managed to drag your ass over here? Bravo! Remember, I'm Sultan. Everything that goes down here is either under my control or, s or will be soon. If you if you want to live a good life, you got to work for me. If you don't, you'll live, a sh you'll live a shitty life. That's how we roll, bro. The money-making kind. Now think why I'm asking you. You're the new guy with no connection to speak of, but you play your cards right, you could quickly gain the local's respect. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, sure. Alright, listen up. We've got a mind to shake, shake down a, a few beards, a mind to shake down a few beard stalkers in a real clinch, la late at night. And you're, you and, uh, and our guys come up to Shinchenko and before these tourists figure out what's going on, you take them for a ride. We'll get a, a dough, you'll get your props. Catch my drift. Alright, see the knuckles standing over there? He'll give you the details. Okay, um. See you. If you manage to stay in one piece, that is. I think I need to. Right. Let's um let's save it properly. Of course, um, the other thing is I, I should mention to you guys is that I am playing this blind.
because I didn't really get very far. I just literally did this first bit and then I had to stop because I think I gave up. I just gave up because it was just fucking annoying. These things here are nominees, of course, like for the last game. This place is full of radiation, so you need to be really quick when doing this. So we're going to save the game, because I know what's coming up, because of course I've done this already. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. I'm gonna save it here.
Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. Stop right there! Hoster your weapon, don't you move! Fuck it! Just you keep walking. You'll remember this. Fuck's sake, man. Why do I keep dying all the time? What am I doing wrong? This is a bit I actually got stuck on before. It's not easy. It's actually hard. Very hard. God's sake, man. Fucking hell. I can't remember what you do. It, it makes this, this mod makes it ten times harder. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure.
stalkers. An emission is approaching. I repeat, an emission is approaching. Seek cover immediately. Quick. Run, 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 run. Oh, I made it. Hello. What brings you to our humble vessel? For that, someone is planning to stick up a group of stalkers. Our own guy, our own guys too. Arseholes. It would actually be nice of you to to take to to cut their offer. See what I'm getting at. That way, you can I can take my boys off so they prepare for a warm welcome to our guests. Okay, go see those douchebags, and I'll tell the boys. Okay guys, well I think that's why I'm going to call this first video. Um, I hope it looked okay, I hope it ran okay. Um, again, it's probably going to be like a little, little bit of a test. Whoa, that mission's loud. You don't want to go outside when there's a, a mission going on because you will die. No, so, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Ta ta for now. <laughs>